Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Scala. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I need some help. I have been a Java developer for six years and I've been asked to start working in Scala, leaving Java behind, and I'm stuck in decision paralysis. The thing is, they're just asking me to move over to a new team and use Scala uh, instead of Java, but I have no re no real exposure to Java since uh, in the since uh, the last six years, I, or rather, I have not worked in Scala before. Could you please give me some guidance and tips on this decision? Well, if you find Scala very interesting, I would very much suggest that you take a look at it. It is a it is a very, very big language. In ter I, I'm not talking about adoption now, I'm talking just size, like li sheer size. There are, I, I don't think I am pushing it too far by saying that Scala is the biggest language uh, in terms of features that I've ever seen. It's bigger than Java, it's bigger than C Sharp. As, I mean, this, don't, don't quote me on this, but from my, as far as I can understand, it is bigger. Uh, I've never seen a language that practically can do anything. Like syntax-wise, as you with as in Scala, it's enormous. Now, if you are really into functional programming or things of this nature, Scala is a very good choice. There is a very, a very enthusiastic little because it is a very small community around Scala as a language, and. I think that if you are passionate about it, then this is a very good language because you're going to, uh, and I think, but at the same time, I want to warn you and I want you to know that unless you are passionate about Scala and all of the things that come with it, it's going to be hard for you. Scala has a extremely sharp learning curve, like it's steep, it's steep as fuck. And I would even go as far as to say that it will take you a long time to just understand how to do things effectively in the language. It is without a doubt, from a learning and like a beginner perspective, not the best language. Like uh, you have practically no resources to learn from, to learn like good practices. If you want answers to your questions, if something is doesn't make sense to you or you have bugs, your best bet is you should, I mean, sometimes you're lucky and uh, because it's, uh, you can basically say, uh, in many cases you can find Java answers that might be applicable to you in Scala, but sometimes you can't. And I don't know how many times my ass and the co the, because I work in Scala every day, and so does my coworkers. We have two people in the company who are true like Scala fanatics, and they save practically everybody else's asses on an almost, if it's not daily, it's a weekly basis. And from the perspective, at least from my perspective, if you're just interested in doing standard application development, you're not interested into in the all the higher levels of programming that you can achieve with Scala, it is a, it's a shit language. Holy shit, it's a shit, it's a shit language from the perspective of just wanting to be productive. It is the worst possible language I can imagine from that perspective. It simply is too big. It has too many features. It's too, it's can do, it, you can do everything. And there's practically no, as I said, practically no community around it. A lot of this like toolings that you might expect to, to have in other languages might actually not even exist or they're extremely poorly supported because there's simply not enough people who are invested in the language. However, the benefits of Scala, if you, if you really are into stream-based programming and things of this nature, this is a very good language. It is, and it, I mean, the d jump from Java to Scala is probably one of the easiest jumps that you can make, but you should know that if the the people who are asking you to move to this comp uh, to this new team, like you really have to feel it out. Do you are you moving to a team of people who kind of know what they're doing with this language? Do you have an is there room for you to learn? Because it's going to be a change for you. I can promise you, it's going to be a fairly big change between Scala and Java. Well, depending of course how you use it, but it's uh, it, as I said, th it is not a very beginner friendly thing. But if you have six years of prior experience in Java, I think that the transition for you would might might be a little bit easier than for someone who is sort of new-ish but I'm not gonna lie to you 
there are a lot of quirks in Java and for me like I think that the best analogy that I can give you is that for me Scala is very much like jQuery is for JavaScript or uh, how it used to be so it's extremely powerful you have a lot of rope as I like to call it and if you know how to use it you can do practically uh, you can do a lot of very very powerful stuff if you don't know what you're doing you can also hang you with hang yourself like the risk of you hanging yourself with the uh, with the language or in jQuery as the library is really really high it's not going to um, it, it, it requires a lot of you and you sh I would even go as far as to say that uh, you're probably going to have to have a much higher skill level to be effective and productive in Java uh, in Scala than in quite a few other languages but once you get there you can do I, you can do so much <laughs> I can't even I, I don't think I can't really think of anything that isn't possible to do in terms of uh, like language features and so forth it is extremely powerful so what I want you to take away from this is that if you're thinking about moving to a team that uses Scala uh, I really suggest that you have a think about or if you're interested in learning the language and if you are willing to make this sort of commitment that is most likely going to be um, required from you because going into Scala sh you should know that it is not as accessible if you are used to being able to just find Stack Overflow answers very easily and so forth I mean there are absolutely people who are going to be able to you're going to find some things in uh, on the web but the amount of content and the amount of tooling and ecosystems it's much uh, that you have to remember if you're in Java you have like the like the it's a smorgasbord of opportunities for learning and and answers on Stack Overflow and so forth Scala is like nothing in comparison yeah I honestly most of the time when I try to figure out what's going on I find that the simplest thing is to actually read the comments of the source code that is the quickest way to figure out all of this stuff and the way that you work in Java and you work in Scala is quite different as well there are a lot of new concepts that are going to come your way if you're going to go into Scala and the, if you're interested in learning these things I think you should absolutely take a look at this because it's going to be very interesting it's also going to develop you a lot as a developer you're going to get new perspectives but if you don't have that level of passion and you just kind of want to get things done then I don't think that this is the language for you because the commitment you have to give in order to get good at Scala is usually a little bit higher than the average mainstream language. Have a great day!